Recording in progress. Create the temp tables in SSIS. First, I create a table physical in here to take the data from the temp table later on. Go to SSIS, drag this to here, like this is the one. Then put in the SQL segment from here. Okay. Of course, you have to create, create a connection to POC. Then track the data from this one. So you open it actually in columns there's no columns okay yes so why because here you need to there's a trick you need to say return same connection and set it true you save the then you actually can, then you double click again and you say column. Um, maybe you let it run once. You put a breakpoint here. You gotta put a breakpoint here. Just let it run this guy. This one. Okay, I stop this guy. And I, there are a few tricks. So I do have, I still don't have the columns with me. Temp table not found. Um, okay, what you need to do is that, luckily I will do this first. I'll just create this guy here. Yeah. Run it once and try again and see whether this guy now is able to give me the yeah, he's able to give me the column, right? And the definition is the physical table. Okay. There's another trick on the article, which is the article is saying that you need to go to the SQC code to set the data validity, delay validation to false, right? Which is here, delay validation. No, true, true, no false. You actually have to set it here, here, delay validation here. You have to set this one to true not in the SQC got that. When you run right now, you're able to actually stop here, run. You're actually able to run it. 